The St. Lawrence Estuary is home to a wide variety of fascinating marine animals. The main attraction to visitors coming to the area is undoubtedly the whales. The blue whale is a unique sight for visitors, mainly due to its size. This majestic species measures between 20 to 25 meters and can weigh up to 120 tons. It is the largest animal on Earth, and once they dive, you may have to wait 30 minutes before seeing them again at the water's surface. At present, the blue whale is considered as an endangered species due to their decreasing numbers. The fin whale, which is a faster moving whale than the blue whale, is equally impressive, measuring between 18 to 21 meters in length and weighing in at 40 to 50 tons, the fin holds the title of being the second longest marine mammal. Returning each year in May, the fin whale is a regular visitor to the St. Lawrence Estuary, staying in the area until late fall, feeding off the abundant food provided at the head of the St. Lawrence Channel. The humpback whale is considered to be one of the top entertainers to locals and tourists during the summer months. As they dive down into the water, they expose their flukes into the air. A whale's tail is called its flukes. Scars or black and white markings are often seen on the flukes and documented by local research groups. If you are fortunate and your timing is right, you may even see a humpback whale breach. Breaching is essentially when a whale lifts its body high out of the water while possibly showing off some acrobatic turns before slapping back down with a mighty splash. The humpback is quite a bit smaller than the blue and fin whale, measuring at 11 to 13 meters in length and weighing anywhere between 25 to 30 tons. The minke whale, which is the smallest baleen whale found in the St. Lawrence estuary, is approximately six to nine meters in length and weighs around six to eight tons. The minke is a frequent visitor, arriving sometime in March and staying into December. Minkies can also provide a spectacular show that includes a variety of acrobatics on the surface of the water. The minke is often seen feeding on the ample food supply found at the head of the St. Lawrence Channel, near the shores of the village of Tadoussac. The blue, fin, humpback, and minke are all baleen whales. Baleen, which looks like a mustache, is found in the upper region of the mouth. This is how baleen whales strain their food, separating the water from their meal. Another star of the St. Lawrence estuary is the beluga. The beluga is a popular member of the St. Lawrence whale population. This white, seemingly smiling whale is presently listed as a threatened species. It receives special attention by the Saguenay St. Lawrence Marine Park through specific regulations and guidelines provided to boat operators and visitors to the park. It is the only whale that stays in the St. Lawrence year-round. Belugas are often seen in the Saguenay Fjord and the St. Lawrence Estuary during the summer months. However, researchers are working hard to determine which part of the St. Lawrence they are choosing for their winter habitat. Belugas weigh approximately one to two tons and measure three to five meters. The fact that their population is so fragile has made them the subject of concern by environmentalists and marine scientists both in and outside of the estuary. The harbor porpoise can also be seen in the St. Lawrence estuary, measuring one to two meters in length and weighing between 50 to 65 kilograms. The harbor porpoise has a short lifespan of only 10 to 13 years. And finally, the estuary is home to a variety of seals. Seals also enjoy feeding on the rich supply of food in the estuary and can often be seen basking on the rocks in the Saguenay Fjord or peeking out above the water's surface at passing boaters. The St. Lawrence Estuary has an impressive list of underwater guests, all visiting for the same reason, food. So what exactly is on the menu?